to the Breen Be A Better Boater segment. Today we're gonna see which life jackets are better. We've got the foam, we got the inflatable. First one, we're gonna see, is it easy to wear? Hey Dwayne. Yes sir. The timing you put this on as fast as you can, go. Oh. Boat sinking, go, put it on as fast as you can. On video even? I guess I'm getting around already. Go as fast as you can. Vinny, with the inflatable. Go, fast you can. Fast you can, get it on right. You gotta put it on properly. <laughs> put it on properly. That's not properly. Oh, oh, I'm no, pulling it, it goes oh, around oh. your back. It goes around your back. Here, you go. Next up is the zip up. Let's try this one. Hey Vinny, put that on as fast you can. Boat's going down. Boat's going down. You're gonna die. I'm dead. Get that thing zipped up. I'm dead. Oh, well, no, no. Our next comparison is, will it fit? This one, they come in four different sizes. This one is one size fits all. Go for it, Bubba. Hey, there we go. You just grab it, throw it around you like that, slip it on, lock it, and you're done. And this fits a big guy like me. I'm six foot, 300 pounds. Who and it fits it? Can you fit this one? Probably not. <laughs> Zip. <laughs> well, maybe if I didn't have that pizza for lunch. So yes. As for buoyancy, 22.5, 15.5. More buoyancy in this because it's full of air. But how much buoyancy do you need to keep your head above the water? So is it affordable? $107, $67. So if you have $107, it's affordable. If you only have 67, it's affordable. If you have more, they're both affordable. The next question is it is it easy to store? Well, this one's thin and light. Dot. No, it doesn't fit. But this is what all the cool guys do on the ocean. They put their jacket on the back of their seat. Is it safe? The auto inflator on this one will, as soon as you fall in the water, this will inflate on its own. It also has a pull handle too, that you can give it a tug and this will inflate as well. So that by the time you're in the water, this thing is going to have, uh, be full of air and ready to go. This one doesn't inflate, it's always buoyant. The other thing to think about for safety on this is if you're in the ocean, and you're in low temperature water, say in the 50s, your chances of drowning are lower than your chances of dying from hypothermia. Hypothermia is the biggest killer in the ocean. Well, one thing that these do, with the padding and the foam, they create insulation and hold the heat in your core of your body. So that's one thing to think about as well when you're, when you're selecting the jackets. These make a little bit better ocean. Not to mention that they have the reflective material on them for higher visibility. If you're in the water, you'll be seen much easier than wearing this vest. Another idea is if it's hot out and you're gonna be wearing it in the sun, this one is a lot cooler to wear than this one. This one's insulated like we were saying. Pockets for your stuff. So there you have it. We have the inflatable versus the bow. There's a few different ways, things to remember. Easy to store, one size fits all, a little bit more buoyancy in case anybody else goes in and they didn't bring their, wear their life jacket. We also have pockets, more visibility, will keep you warm and super, a little warmer in super cold water, a little bit safety oriented, looks cool on the back of your seat. So if the choice is yours, inflatable, foam, always neoprene.